Hello friends, this is Cloud Computing 101 by Simply Clouded. Today our topic is relational databases and we are going to share one of our live whiteboard sessions to explain this. What are relational databases? Relational database. Emphasize on the word relational. Relational means that, you know, there are relationships between multiple tables. How are these relationships defined? Let's take a simple example of a school database. Okay, this is the best example. So I'll create, so I'll create a box for a table. So this is a table. A table has multiple columns. Let's, let's imagine the columns, okay. Student ID, okay. This is the most important student ID, okay. Name, date of birth, okay. And uh, course ID. Okay, so this table's name is student. Okay, then in the same database, there is another table which says course ID, course name, course duration. Okay, that's it. Right. So now, how is the relationship defined? First, understand only one table. So I have one table, which let's say I have uh, 10 students, which is, which is very less. I have 100 students. Each student, two students can have the same name. They can have the same date of birth. They can also have the same course ID, but never will two students have same student ID. So is it safe to assume that student ID, I'll just underline this, will act as a unique identifier. Student ID will act as a unique identifier and uh, you know, it will identify individual values in this table. Now you can say that, okay, you know what, there is also course ID, but five students can be in the same course ID and 10 students can be in a different course ID. But if you take, let me just highlight this. So in this particular table, course ID is not, is not a primary key. It's called a primary key. A unique identifier is called a primary key. Okay. So in this table, course ID is not a primary key. But if you come to this table, this table is dedicated to the details of different courses. So obviously in this particular table, in this particular table, course ID will be unique because if there are five entries here or six entries here of six different courses, obviously the course ID will be different. Now you see, so now in this case, course ID becomes the primary key. Okay. Now I'll take an example of a simple query, a search query. Okay. Find students with course duration more than 90 days. Okay. So you're supposed to find students and you're supposed to ref, uh, filter it by course duration. Okay. So I think, I think if I give you this task, what you'll do is you will see, okay, there are hundred students. You see their course IDs. You will map their course IDs with their course duration and then apply the filter. So ultimately what you're doing is you're referring this course ID from this table to the course ID in this table. Okay. Which means you are creating a relationship between two tables based on one common value, one common value. Okay. So this common value becomes 
सेकेंडरी की फॉर वन ओके इन दिस टेबल दिस बिकम सेकेंडरी की एंड इन दिस टेबल इट बिकम्स प्राइमरी की सो इट्स नथिंग बट अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्टूडेंट एंड कोर्स let's say this has another value the course table has another value department id okay and if i see here okay there's is another table called department okay let's say science biology and whatever i mean there are different departments now if you come here there is a department id okay department name department admin so now this particular value will be referred to the primary key in this okay so it will be the primary key i have underlined the primary key and i have highlighted the secondary key so that's how relationships are formed so these kind of you know group of tables and you know when you talk about a big application like facebook instagram there are millions of tables working and related to each other to compile information so each each database has hundreds and you know thousands of tables and in particularly a relational database they are in the form of rows and columns each has a primary key and one table one particular table can have any number of secondary keys okay so a student can also be belonging to a department and have a direct relationship with the department table okay so this is an example of a relational database thank you for your time guys please like share and subscribe for more